quite clear that we've you know innovated and we've been able to push progress so how does that translate with the engagement and the development of the communities that we work in well, I think with John Keels being such an integral part of the Sri Lankan economy, that kind of inevitably also makes us such a huge part of the socioeconomic um, landscape of Sri Lanka. And I think especially through the John Keels Foundation, I've really been very happy and pleased to see the kind of impact that we do make in terms of our community engagement and social empowerment especially. And particularly through my MTE journey, I was able to be a part of a program where we were kind of looking at our foundation strategy as a whole and kind of figure out like, are we um, reaching as many communities as possible? You know, are we also like evaluating our impact as effectively as possible? And are we, you know, covering all fronts that we could possibly be covering through our businesses individually or through the foundation as a whole? And I think it's Along with you know your day-to-day -day work as an MT, it's it's very gratifying work to be working with communities, whether on a strategic level or on the field, and it's it's honestly very fulfilling for yourself. Actually, uh, a comment from my side: being part of the John Keers Management Trainee Program, I've realized that my seniors played a large role in terms of helping me overcome challenges. Um, and also not just push progress, but also push myself. Did any one of you experience uh, similar support during your MTE stints? Very interesting point, Nilusha. I think uh, in my experience, I think everyone can, here can relate to as well. The JKHMT program is rewarding, but equally challenging as well. And when, when you take that into account, working with different business units and also working with experts to solve those specific cases of BU problems as well, having the right mentor to back you through is crucial for learnings and I felt that during my stints as well. For example, at the property sector, I was exposed to research and development and I was able to push myself through the support of my mentor to understand engineering solutions and also work with leading experts in the field. And I feel that I had a really special relationship with my mentor as well, which was truly incredible. So having these special conversations was truly enlightening. And I feel that kind of pushed me to do work as fast as I could as well. Adding to what Ravindu was saying, um, I was part of the group's financial services sector prior to joining the MT program. And there were uh, so many seniors who helped me and guided me to become a better version of myself. So once I started the program, I was happy to see that there were other mentors across different sectors who could equally guide me and show me the, the path to development. And um, it's crazy to see that now I'm playing that kind of like a similar role with my team as well. So what it goes to say is that at the end, if you want to become the best, you have to surround yourself with the best and learn from the best. <laughs>